Hey guys, it's Brian. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hopefully you enjoy this content and want to subscribe. Possibly? Maybe? Anyway, um, so what we're going to be talking about today is CC Rider sent me one of their touring seats to try out. Um, as you know, I'm a bit of a gear nerd, so I like testing products. Um, this is going to be tested on my 2020 Road Glide Limited. Now I will say with seats, I'm a little hesitant to go all in on an impression firsthand uh, because these seats do take so long to break in. Uh, for context, I normally run a Mustang Super Deluxe Touring Seat with a backrest. So understand my standards for a touring seat are extremely high. When CC Rider uh, reached out to me, I was a little reluctant. I had just gotten the bike and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get involved in doing a seat review with a lot of things else being on. One of the things that caught my attention in talking to them back and forth was they said that this seat is sort of designed on the Harley Hammock seat. And I'll put a link uh, somewhere up here. On well, my review of the Harley Hammock seat, I had a love-hate with the Harley Hammock. I loved it at the beginning and absolutely hated it at the end, uh, and which is why we got rid of it for the Mustang. So I'm very hesitant in giving a full all-in review rather quickly. I know CC Rider wanted this review a little sooner, and I pushed back on that. So guys, I appreciate your patience, but I hope you understand the idea of this review is to give you a real understanding of a review and not just kind of paint with broad strokes and you know just say, oh, it's great, or it's not. So let's take it off so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see it's got the red stitching for the bike. Um, absolutely love the stitching. Thought it was really cool. Quality's not bad. It's uh, It feels vinyl. Um, it, it quite frankly feels about the quality of a Harley-Davidson OEM seat. Take that as you will. It can be good, can be bad based on your preference. Uh, the lift here, the backrest is... Um, it's high, but it's not super high, and you do not, as you can see, have an option for a touring backrest. Um, that right there sh sort of threw a red flag for me. Um, most touring seats that I'm aware of, or, or at least the, the high-end touring seats, have the opportunity for a backrest. thought that was a little odd, um, but in your case, you may not need it. The back of this is cut in for your passenger. So it's a little bit narrower. Um, again, I can't say that I've ever seen that on a touring seat. They say it's more for comfort. My wife didn't find it as comfortable. Again, though, don't take that on one person's opinion. It's one of those things that it's very uh, subjective with the seat. But she found it to be less supportive than the Mustang. The firmness for the passenger is certainly, um, or the cushion is a lot more substantial than it is for the rider. As you can see, it's really thin here. And one of the things that I do like with this is the nose piece is thin. So it doesn't come up like the Harley Hammock does and kind of crush your man parts, which uh, was just absolutely brutal on the Harley Hammock. Um, the interesting thing that I thought with this too is that while they claim that they've taken the approach of wanting to build a seat much like the Harley Hammock, they... I don't know where that suggestion came from that this is like the hammock or I should say I don't know where they got that idea because I find it to be completely different both good and bad. So the good is like I said it doesn't have that nose piece but what's weird is if you look at how thin the seat is here it's designed to be able to get your legs down lower it's not as wide as a normal touring seat which is good if you're a shorter rider. If you are not and you're a bigger dude like myself you're going to find that it's just not that comfortable for long rides because you don't have the uh, the wider seat. We're going to get to that and I'll show you how it compares to my Mustang. Now as far as the build quality, you're going to see staples on the bottom, it's just like a Harley seat. It's got their logo here. It's got the rubber pieces on the back so it doesn't scratch your uh, rear fender. I mean, it's, it's not a bad seat. Now, I will say this. This is a $235 seat on sale, so you're not going to... You don't really, you're not putting a lot of risk in trying this seat out. However, I don't think, in my opinion, I think it's more for the touring models than it is a touring seat. Now, I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna put this seat here for a second. Now, this is my Mustang full tour seat. And you can see with the Mustang, you've got that really wide seat. 
And if we compare that, let's try not to drop these on my brand new bike. If we compare these, you can see a significant difference in not only the width, but in the passenger width. So this is more, in my opinion, a traditional full touring seat. This to me here is more of a stylized um, seat for the rider that wants to go for a custom bagger look, but doesn't want to spend high-end money. So if it fits your budget for a look, I don't think it's bad. Um, from what I've seen so far though, it kind of still has that 100, 200 mile limitation of where it starts to get uncomfortable. Um, I like a lot of support in my touring seats and in seats in general. You don't get that in the back here. And I found that because it wasn't as wide enough, I was constantly shifting. Um, but again, I'm a 300 pound 6'1 guy. So you're looking at a little bit different for someone that's possibly smaller where the narrowness of this seat would, uh, would be an improvement for you. So I don't, like I said, I don't think that it's a bad seat, but I, I'm struggling with this seat because I, I think the idea of what they did is interesting, but in, uh, for a touring seat, I don't think that it's, uh, I think it's more of a, a day tripper bar hopper seat. I don't really think that it's a touring seat, especially with the lack of a backrest. What I'd love to see them do is make a full step up seat that was a lot higher. So you wouldn't have to have the, uh, the old man backrest, if you will, but you'd still have the ability to have back support. So like I said, $235, you're not really risking a lot. I could see this being a good seat if you just wanted to take it bar hopping or a photo shoot. I mean, you can see the red on red on this bike. It's just phenomenal. But um, again, I mean, if you're, if you're purchasing a full touring bike, there may be other seats for you. If you're looking for a you know, uh, entry level seat that's gonna get you for, uh, for like shorter day trips, bar hopping, certainly for a photo shoot and a look, I, I could see this working out. But that's really just my initial impressions and I wanted to give it to you to just kind of give an idea of where we're at. Um, I'm very hesitant with doing anything with this build. I'm just kind of throwing a review out and saying, oh, it's great. Uh, especially for a product that I've never used any of their products before. Um, but I'll keep you updated and let you know um, how I make out with that. Like I said, it looks really cool on the bike. The feedback when I post on Instagram, people love the look. So it certainly has a good look to it. But as far as the ergonomics of a seat, I don't think it's quite there for me, for my size. The other thing that I didn't particularly care for is the um, the seat kind of feels like you're riding on the pan. It's not really as thick as a normal, um, as I would like to see for a touring seat. And again, these are just my opinions. But for day trips, you know, if you want to run to the bar, you want to run out on a date night or something, I think it's a good, it's a decent seat for that. And it's certainly a decent seat if you want to go in for a custom bag or look on a budget, uh, on a budget. But um, that's where we're at. Like I said, I've only put a couple hundred miles on it. The bike, unfortunately, has been down and we've had other projects to deal with. But uh, I just want to at least give you my first initial impression. I am going to ride it more. Uh, one of the things I did want to do, too, is give it to uh, one of my buddies who's a smaller frame rider let him try the seat and see what he thinks about it so then i can provide you feedback with not only somebody my size but a small rider and, and also a second person's opinion coming directly from a harley davidson stock seat so that's all i had guys i hope it's um there's not too much back and forth but i really wanted to be objective with this and, and give you my thoughts and kind of give you a lot more in depth on my feedback as to why i'm, I'm kind of saying the things that i am so that's all there is to it for this review Hope you guys are well. I hope you're staying safe. The cancer link for the cancer walk that we're doing in October is going to be in the link in the description. If you can help out or your company can help out, we'd greatly appreciate that. Um, as always, I hope you guys are staying safe and please remember you're not alone. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.